the news from Newsweek. From Newsweek, of all sources. I know. Republicans tie Hunter Biden to human trafficking announced probe. Let me pause right there. They explicitly stated this is an investigation of Joe Biden. So Newsweek, they're talking about it, but they're trying to, you know, maybe the goal with the article is to be like, it's Hunter, not Joe. Right. But, uh, you know, I'll be specific. They said they were announcing an investigation into Joe. I, they didn't spe- specifically say Joe Biden was trafficking people, although I, I think he was with the illegal immigrants. Yes, he was. Well, yeah, OK, never mind. He was. Was this broken go. by Geek Squad or who did it? <laughs> which one? It just depends on the source. Which which was it a computer that was returned? Like, who knows? <laughs> oh, I see. Where I did see. they get well, the intel? Uh, actually, I think it was um, the tons some of Republicans videos. in Tennessee who filmed the uh, children being trafficked on uh, U.S. Uh, military planes around the country by the Biden administration. So, oh, right. No, okay. no. I, I mean, he literally was trafficking children. Yes. Oh, good for him. <laughs> I thought it was you... the hunter sex <laughs> Russian prostitute thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. I, I mean, yes. Yeah. I don't mean to but, not I mean, keep it clean for the family friendly people watching. It's just they're, they're called ladies did. of the night. I'm sorry. And, You're right. uh, and, you know, Hunter Biden did love ladies of the night, particularly from Russia, which, you know, a lot of people were, were going sure. crazy about specifically speculating that Donald Trump had relations with in some kind of hotel rooms. But but again, here we you actually know, have some real life proof of, of Hunter Biden taking videos and photos of some absolutely crazy behavior that do violate a lot of laws. Lady, yes. lady of the night. I mean, I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's archaic. Maybe something like adult physical therapist. <laughs> lady who puts oh, wow. down a tarp. <laughs> Yeah. Couch wrecker. Uh, well, but they, they could work during the day. I mean, I, I think a lot of these videos of Hunter were, you know. During the day? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it, 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 you know, just we'll, adult physical therapy. We'll just call it that, you know. Some you, you bled into morning. I mean, literally bleeding. I love that he vlogged the whole thing, too. The that's whole so, thing yeah. is that's well documented. He's like he's like the new David Dobrik. You know, he's he's, <laughs> he's an artist. He he he's ahead of his times, and uh, it's really incredible. You know, the, the sima sima taverte that, that he presented to the general public. <laughs> Truly, a, an artist of our of our time. My favorite is the M M&M and M photo. If you haven't yeah. seen the M M&M and M photo, he was measuring a member of his with M M&M's. and M's. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? And Hunter took a picture of it. He was. I don't want to look at those pictures. And he was using oh, mini M and M's. It's the best. It's it's the best. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be my wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay, well let's 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 uh, let's see what they're talking about. Well, they're they're specifically so, looking into a number of charges. They're looking to see if they could charge him with conspiracy or defrauding the United States, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, violation of the Foreign uh, Agents Registration Act, violation of the Foreign Corruption Practices Act, violation of the Victims of Trafficking and Violence Protection Act of 2000, tax evasion, money laundering, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. What, what, Those are the Joe? charges. Those are what they're looking into. Joe? Uh, I, I think Hunter and Joe, since uh, this he, Newsweek said, article, this news, Newsweek article talks about how they had bank accounts that were commingled yeah. together. Uh, they obviously also shared phone uh-huh. numbers. They obviously also were in business together. It's pretty clear. No matter how many times Joe Biden tries to deny this, it's very clear that there was a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth business dealings, a lot of Air Force Two, a lot of lucrative contracts in Ukraine and in China that he was not supposed to get that he got along, of course, with his his uh, vlogging of smoking crack, being with ladies of the night and having firearms everywhere. One firearm that he left outside of a school zone, which Correct. he got in trouble for. In a and trash can. In a trash can. Thank right you. On, thank I, you, I, I, I At least it. he tried yes. to hide it. I just want to I just want to <laughs> simplify the way George tried to hide a cannoli on Seinfeld. <laughs> I just want to I just want to simplify this for everybody really quick. Um, outside of all of this, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of people on the left or, you know, Democrats desperately trying to defend Joe being like, this is nonsense. It's fake news. It's so preposterous, but they shared bank accounts. And right there is the, is the morsel of, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cause let me tell you something. Yo, I tried to buy my mom like a toaster and my account is like, you can't do that. Like you, you cannot have like, you, you, it, you give something to somebody. It is a gift. It is tracked. It goes towards that. If you share a bank account, you're making it like basically impossible to track how much you're giving to another person. There's no circumstance where I I guess if if Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were both officers of a corporation or some some, something like that, and they both had executive access to a bank account, that could make sense. But hey, hold on there a minute. That would mean that Joe Biden lied and was directly involved in business with his son. Otherwise, it just sounds like some weird, at the very least, tax evasion or you know, income commingling, which is already a problem. Well, the, the human trafficking is definitely related to the ladies of the night. He was, he, he bought a lot of them 
And especially from Eastern Europe, who knows if some people might speculate that he was swallowed. Uh, that's also another possibility here. But but no, that's, he was that's picking them alone. like a, he was picking them out like it was a Wendy's menu. He yeah. was saying, I don't like this one. You know, take the lettuce off of that one. He really Line was picking, he was picking them out on these text messages. Yeah. It was well documented. Yeah, but exactly. Tim, I do want to say you said the left is going to come out and say it's not true. I don't know that they're going to say much of anything, to be honest. Yeah, I think they're just going to ignore it. Because that's what they do when they these things come out, that there's a mountain of evidence. They just mm-hmm. ignore it. Hey, at they least really we have... They didn't really like spies, though, did they? Who, well, who knows? Well, you know, I mean, there were a day. lot of them. Yeah, really, exactly. How much intel are you going to get with really just a half hour each? Yeah, but, but the caveat here, at least we give big tech social media something to censor in the future. Just like the Hunter Biden laptop story, at least now that we're going to have the censors at Facebook and Twitter and Instagram busy with more work. So at least, you know, they, no, they're going to have something to do. I hear you, but I'm actually kind of optimistic. You know, Facebook came out and said they're not going to be fact checking Trump's campaign because he's running or something like that. Elon Musk buys Twitter. So I'm kind of like, I think I think maybe they they, you know, the the the, the extremists shot their shot and, and they can't keep that up. At a certain point, you're trying to hold back a da- like a, a river and the dam bursts. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, they, they censor everything. We all know the scandal of the Hunter Biden laptop censorship. They, they can't pull that off again. I mean, can they? Well, it's filled with Maybe. everything he just said. So it's right. like if they can bring on the and, charges, and, I mean, yes. Yeah. But, they, but look, with, with Republicans controlling the House, if all we get is Nancy Pelosi is fired and they launch this investigation, this investigation alone is going to make it impossible. YouTube took down C-SPAN videos of Rand Paul talking. Because yeah. he said a naughty name. No. Now, if they're all saying it, they can't just... If YouTube started banning C-SPAN outright, people might be like, hey, wait a minute. They took down one video and hoped nobody noticed. They took down a Fox News video and hoped nobody's, nobody, nobody noticed. But if, they've, if they're going to have a committee putting out videos, if they're going to have a January 6th style inquiry... Ain't nothing they can do about it. Well, C-SPAN after dark's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope dude. they do a J6 trial for this, you know, a, st- a J6 style investigation. They should do the whole nine. They should put the Hunter B- Biden laptop contents on the screen for the whole world to see. <laughs> I don't <laughs> exactly. know about that. It's if never going to happen so on I. C-SPAN. Absolutely. Well, maybe it's giving evidence. It's all night. there. It's all vlogged by Hunter Biden on crack. It's all there. That's a lot my, to see, though. My, my favorite C-SPAN after dark was when all the, all the Democrats called in saying they were quitting the party. Do you, do you, remember, you guys remember yes. that? <laughs> that was crazy. It was a few years ago. But it was just like, I, I remember pulling the video up and pressing play, and it was just a guy being like, I don't know what they're doing. They lost their minds. I'm voting Republican now. And I'm like, wow. But th- there's also a possibility that we might find something even more sinister. I, I think there's a big probability for this as well, because when we look at what's been happening throughout the last few years, the FBI knew a lot of this was happening. They had the laptop. They had interviews with Tony Bobolinsky. They chose to, of course, censor and cover it up. What was inside of that laptop? What are also the very weird photos with children inside of that laptop, which I, I-, I think is-, is something that could essentially be something that will shock the American public to the point where there's no returning from it. Uh, and I think there's a possibility of that happening. Maybe the well, maybe yeah. the game is to slow roll it to the point where everyone's heard a little bit without getting shocked too much. So when they when they finally come out and admit it, everyone's going to be like, well, yeah, dude, we know. Well, they also raided Giuliani's house and he's like, it's right here. And they're like, no, we came for everything else. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. Where's he your- had the laptop. He had the Hunter Biden yeah, laptop with the, with the weird photos of the, the, the children. Yeah. Let's be honest here. It would have been, it's not it been Hunter, funny if though. they, it would have been, sorry, it would have been funny if they arrested Giuliani for possession. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, sorry. oh, you got those images, but it's like, uh, uh, oh, 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 but you got it. Yeah, it's, it's on you. It's Child not porn. just Hunter, though. It's also, I mean, that whole family's disturbed. All of his children yeah. are very disturbed. They the blew off. Are a the, lot. the Ashley Biden diary was one of the most disturbing things I ever read. And after I read it, I felt bad. Yeah, I have, I felt I have very a quote bad. here, but I don't, I don't think we could read it online. To she was as very spicy disturbed. As she talks about showering with her father. That whole family is disturbing. All she, of she his talked about her disturbed. grandfather. Right, like with Joe. Yeah. yeah, she talked about how she had to shower at night because she was afraid Biden was going to yes. come into the shower with her. Yeah, yeah, that, that's literally what if, in there. What if when Biden broke his leg, it wasn't the dog, but like his granddaughter? It was, <laughs> or some kind of child fighting back, be like, no, could be. Hey. Uh, who knows nowadays? Especially with you know the island that they all go to. Especially you know since the island closed down, they got to you know. Well, I he, think he was probably just fighting back the nurses. He's like, don't put it in again. I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go. He Stop does have pumping very me up. powdery bones. I <laughs> mean, that man is not filled with calcium. Remember when uh, 
during the Alex Jones trial, the prosecution was like, you think that the powerful global elites are traf- trafficking children? And he goes, what, you mean like Epstein and did with the Clintons? <laughs> yeah, and then beautiful. they made the Thug Life video. Now, if anyone ever brings that up, they're like, oh, you believe some weird conspiracy about, you know, elites trafficking people? I'll be like, you mean like the investigation the Republicans have open into the Biden family? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, look, you can call it a conspiracy, but then you got to you, you have to contend yeah. with the fact that the majority of Congress is investigating that. So, uh, yeah, they're a cult like. I, I, I rewatched that Sam Harris clip where he's like, there is nothing on the Hunter Biden laptop that is bad as Trump University. And I'm like, my guy, there's like illicit pictures of children. You're saying that Donald Trump scammed some people out of cash. The Bidens are implicated in human trafficking. Sam Harris, he lost his mind. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, big L. And, and like you, you compare the two. There's no comparison. What about Trump's stakes? <laughs> not bad actually. Huh. Not bad actually. And you know it's you know it's funny too. I remember I wasn't serious. Well, no, no, look, look, look. During Trump's campaign, they were saying that all of his businesses failed and it was the weirdest yeah, thing. No. They were like, "What happened to Trump Water? What happened to Trump Steaks or Trump Magazine?" And I was sitting in Trump Doral in Florida looking at a bottle of Trump Water with a Trump Magazine and a menu showing Trump Steak and I'm like, mm-hmm. "Do these people not understand that the companies he started are suppliers for his his hotels?" Like he doesn't sell Trump steak in the grocery store. He's making his own stuff. So he lowers his costs. Right. It's, yeah. it's just so insane. And I think out of like 500 businesses, five went bankrupt. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, look at all those bankruptcies. It's okay, dude, you believe, fa- you, you, Google it. Okay, come on. They don't, they don't even do that. No, it's sad. Very sad. When you have other billionaires that were just kind of mad about it because he was president and it was kind of <laughs> watched, it was fun to watch them project how angry they were because they didn't think it would happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just had like Mark Cuban, like, it's all failed. It's like, you're upset. <laughs> you're Mark Cuban. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.